Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where we're here at Park Asterix in France. If you haven't already, make sure you check out our vlog from the opening of Tutatis, their brand new ride. We filmed a dedicated video with initial POVs from the front, the back row, seeing how it rode throughout the day, capturing the atmosphere of the opening and how crazy it was, and also as well, our initial review. So yeah, check it out. It's now online here on our channel. But in this vlog, we're gonna take you around the rest of the park. I haven't actually been for three years. So I'm looking forward to getting back on some of the coasters. You've only actually done one visit here as well. So yeah, you're long overdue getting back on some rides here. They've got some fantastic rides and hardware at this park. The sun's shining and we're really looking forward to it. We just want to say thank you to Park Asterix for providing us with admission. We really do appreciate it. We also stayed in the hotel thanks to them. And yeah, we've done a full tour of the hotel as well. Uh, that'll be coming up. So stay tuned for that here on the channel. Should we go get some rides in? Lots to go and see and do, and we're gonna head down to one of my favorites first. It's a BM inverted roller coaster, it's Osiris. And here's a look at the entrance to the park. And yeah, off to the right, you can just see the spike over there onto Tartis as well. It is a great addition to this park. Definitely the best coaster at Park Asterix. And yeah, our favorite in France as well. And yeah, you can see the opening kind of chaos of it all, the running down. And yeah, it was pretty crazy. Ride openings always are. Well, this one was particularly um, crazy. And we talk a bit about that in that vlog. So yeah, make sure you check it out. But yeah, Park Asterix is a big park. They've got lots of great rides. Obviously, we've had a big focus on getting the new rides in, but we're still going to take you around uh, and show you lots of the other different attractions that are on offer. Of course, focusing on the major coasters because the park it's only open until seven o'clock, so we've not got a huge amount of time. However, the good thing is I've filmed quite a lot of Park Asterix vlogs for you all in the past. So if you want to see like some of the smaller rides, such as what you can see in front of us, for example, um, then you can check out some of the other vlogs on the channel uh, where you can see those. But we're going to have some updated POVs and the coasters. Looking forward to getting on Ton Air and seeing how that is. Um, when I did it last year, I was a little bit disappointed after they did all that work with the retrack. Um, from the gravity group and the new trains on there the timber liners so we'll see how that's going to be uh, riding today and charlotte's not actually done them yet oh i can't wait yeah Sean's reaction, i can't wait to get on it yeah it, you know i was sad because it was yeah. a, i loved it, it like did ride so well yeah before. last time you did it it was it had it them old trains really good so i'm looking forward to seeing what they've actually done to it you'll see the old trains you're going round because they've actually used it like on display it's quite cute. yeah it is but uh, we're gonna make our way now down towards Osiris, spectacular ride in a brilliant themed area as well. Operations are always pretty good here in terms of, you know, getting you through. And as we spoke about in the Tutatis vlog, a little bit too much, you know, with the operations sometimes here. You know, they're really kind of shouting and getting you through, you know, and really trying to get them rides operating the best they can. And I'm all for good operations, but sometimes if it gets that much, then blimey. Uh, like Europa Park is just a nice kind of level when it comes to getting your operations perfect. But yeah, looking forward to getting back on Osiris. Uh, so we're going to make our way down there now. It's a great themed area. Wow, look at this themed area. Welcome to Egypt in the middle of France. Osiris, the BM inverted roller coaster. And this looks spectacular around here. The theming and immersion is great to see. And here comes the coaster through the loop. For anybody worried about Nemesis, Alton Towers not having a roar when it comes back, then don't worry, this has still got quite a roar to it. And with Nemesis being in the pit, it's still gonna sound great. And of course we can film on ride at this park. So yeah, we'll take you on with the POV. You're looking forward to this. I remember, I really enjoyed this last time I went on it. It's a great inverted roller coaster, it really is. Yeah, let's go and get on. And we've got a dispatch on a Cyrus. So this BM invert open back in 2012 features five inversions and a beautiful colour scheme as well. Woo! There's a view out over the area. Nice queue line, well themed down there, and great views looking at the ride. That's what I do like about the queues here. You get some good shots looking at the coasters. And there's the main road just down there as well. Fantastic first drop on this. I mean, it's a fantastic ride. Ready, Charlotte? Let's go, it's Osiris! Woo! 
Has it started? It's a good ride there, it's intense, it's fast, so much going on in there. Great layout, it's well themed as well. Really enjoyed getting back on that coaster. Well, there's a look at Titartis off to the left. Some more land clearance here going on. Interesting, maybe that's for some future developments here at the park. Very good that was, brilliant. <laughs> Instead of using the baggage holes that they built with the ride, they ripped the shop out here, as you can see. And yeah, they have these trolleys, and then you collect your bag out the trolley just uh but it's interesting all to help try and speed up the throughputs but it does mean that it gets a bit crazy <laughs> Osiris is one of the best inverted coasters out there. An absolutely brilliant ride. I love that coaster so much. Honestly, that is so much fun. Like going over the whole area, the whole area just looks fantastic and the coaster rides so well. It's really forceful, it's very intense. As soon as you go down that first drop, it whips you straight in. Classic BNM inverse. And yeah, it's a great ride, it really is. It's one that I fell in love with when I first rode it and I still really like it to this day. And yeah, just going on that again, seeing the area around here, all the Egyptian theming, it's just an overall fantastic ride. But it's very forceful, it's got lots for it. And like I say, if you're a bit worried about what they're doing to Nemesis at Alton Towers with the retrack, the Zyrus shows that a newer van of inverts can be just as fierce as old Nemesis. It rides fantastic, it's got some really good elements. I really enjoy that coaster. It's one of your favourite inverts, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say so, yeah, it is. Yeah, you really like Monta as I well, really don't like you? I really like Monta, I'm torn between the two. You can tell when they built this back in 2012, the part were inspired by Monta at Busch Gardens, Tampa Bay in Florida. And if you haven't already, check out our various vlogs from there, and I'm sure we'll be back again soon. Up next then, it's time to ride La Trace du Horror, which is the bobsleigh that they've got here. And I'll tell you what, this looks completely different now because they've really opened it up for the new area, Festival Titatis. And yeah, of course, this ride now is officially part of that area as well because the entrance used to be around here at the front. It's now inside the area itself. So we're going to go and give this a ride now. And here's another look at the entrance to Festival Titatis. And yeah, check out our full dedicated vlog from riding the coaster and having a good explore around the area. It's now online here on our YouTube channel. Well, yeah, the entrance is now just here on the left for the bobsleigh. It really works though with this area, like all the interactions around with this ride. It was just a forest around here before, all trees. And yeah, the entrance is now just here on the left. So yeah, let's go and give it a go. Some great views from on this ride. Beautiful day though today. Perfect weather for the opening of a new coaster. We're getting on plenty of rides. Blue skies, clock turn till seven. But yeah, I remember riding this last year, looking out at the track for Titatis, but of course all the area wasn't in. Fits in beautifully. Yeah, the area's got a lot quieter now as well. It always happens on opening days. Everybody piles down at the start and then it does get a bit quieter. Still advertised on a two hour queue though, for the new coaster. Great views though. Look at that, it'd be nice if we get the timing. Oh, we are as well. Perfect timing. Launching down here, up the spike. Is he gonna make it back and complete the top hat before we go down? Oh, perfect timing, look at this, here we go. Yes! Oh, that's a good shot. And we're off. If you're wondering where Charlotte is, she's behind me over here. Oh, wow! Hey, what a view. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Fantastic views. There's the nebula. Men here express, little log flume there as well. We're prioritising getting Charlotte back on these coasters today. Oh, got a rattle! 
place fast. Hey. What a view. Woo! Wow! Blimey, that was sharp. <laughs> I went flying forward then. So many trains on this. It runs like five, six trains. Woo! Now we're having a helix, helix, helix. Oh. <laughs> Woo! So we get a good view of the stall now on Dutartis as well. There it is. Oh, we might get this again. We're not going to time this for the stall as well. It'd be great if we did. I don't know if we're going to. It's going back that way. You are right back there? Bit of vibration there, wasn't there? Oh, we're going to time this for the stall. It'd be great if we do, but I think we're going a bit too quick, sadly. No! <laughs> we missed the stall. Well, there it comes again. Over the top at. Beautiful. It's a great ride, that one of the best. Probably the best of these bobsleighs out there. Very enjoyable coaster. Two and a half minutes station to station. That's it, no mess about. Restraints will be up. There we go, and we're off. Absolutely fantastic ride that is, and the operations on there, they are hammering the trains out on that. I find that so much more comfortable when I'm sat on my own. Yeah, obviously, yeah, really, you are supposed to ride them together, but it is a lot better when you it's have your own on there. It's quite good fun, that was. It had a bit of a rattle, though. Yeah, it is quite rattly, <laughs> but it's a great ride, Mac rides. And yeah, you look at the original one of those back at Europa Park, how that is in comparison yeah, to this. Like, shows how far they've come. Obviously, it was the prototype, Schweizer Baba, on that at Europa Park. Um, but that one actually drops down straight into a brake. With this one, it keeps on giving. It's a really good ride. Uh, absolutely awesome. Let's keep on riding here at Park Asterix in the lovely sunshine this afternoon. Lovely blue sky here at Park Asterix. And yeah, we're making our way now around towards our next coaster, which is Pegasus Express. Really nice Gerslau family coaster. I like this ride a lot. So we're going to head around there and give that a go. Beautiful day. There's lots of rock work and theming throughout this park, which I really like. Have you got the main lake down there with Goodrix on the other side as well? Looking forward to Goodrix, Charlotte. Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, you enjoyed it, didn't you, last time? My ears hurt so bad. I don't really find it that bad at all. Put me hood up and You've got paper here over there as well. Yeah. A little classic, Metalin. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. But yeah, Pegasus just down here on the left. Love this Greek themed area around here. Yeah, you've got quite a lot of fantastic shows here as well. We're not going to really have time for them today. But yeah, you've got a great show over here, which is a high dive production. Along with that, there's a big stunt show. Uh, I did see that last year. It was off during COVID, but it's back open now. Uh, well worth going to watch if you've never seen it. And yeah, I did have highlights in my vlog from last year, so check that out. Obviously, with it being a busy day and only day of a new ride, you know, it's just getting round and making the most of what we can, really. Prioritise the coasters. And coming up shortly will be Charlotte's first ride on Tony Adi Zeus since it's had the retracks. I'm looking forward to hearing what Charlotte thought. Bear in mind, you've recently been on Leviathan as well over at SeaWorld in Australia. It was great. Yeah, I, Leviathan's a lot better, especially facing forwards. This facing forwards has got a bit of a rattle, I thought. I won't be doing it backwards. No, the backward seat I really didn't enjoy uh, when I came on it last year. Yeah, and it was also the same, really, when we did Leviathan, the backward seat wasn't great. But yeah, we're going to have a go on this. I love this ride. Fantastic Gerslau family coaster. Look at the theming as well, the station building. Very, very nice. Yeah, let's go and have a ride. Pegasus Express. Here we are then in the station. Runs three trains, this one, and we're about to launch straight out. Good fun family coaster, this one. Let's go. It's a bags on ride. We've got funny baggage policies here at this park. Hey! But they allow on ride filming, so it's a thumbs up from me. Woo! Yeah, I love that little mini launch. Yeah, really like complex when you look at all this. So you got one train just in there now loading up. You got one on this block waiting to go round, and we're going up the lift hill. Great operation. Do you remember much about this, Charlotte? I don't really remember it, to be honest. That is a good ride. I remember I liked it last time. I really like these family Gerslai coasters. That's, in my opinion, Gerslai do better family coasters than Thrill. Saying that, they are coming more into the road now as well, which is good. Yeah, look at this operation. Very good. And a fantastic view looking out over the park just there. Interaction with the rapids is good on this. Look at the water on the rapids. Looks lovely. Whee! Coming in, buying tickets down there. Wow, loads 
of people at the entrance. We're in the middle of the afternoon. First day of the season. Did you see that, Charlotte? Full yeah. of people buy, like obviously wanting to buy tickets like down the entrance. Wow. Into the indoor section now. Which is really good. We're on the back row as well, so this would be good for the backwards launch. Drop them, uh, <laughs> no drop section on this one. Oh, all the e-lights are on in here. That's a shame. Oh dear. Whoa! You do get squirted there. <laughs> oh, shame the working lights are on. Over the rapids. Oh! <laughs> Wild! Woo! Very funky, so twisty that layout. And there we go. So much fun. It's a great ride that. I really like you know, good operations, getting the trains out as well. I like how you've got this at the top, like what you find on a railway crossing as well. It's a fantastic ride, really enjoyed that. Pegas Express. How was your ride there, Charlotte, on Pegasus Express? That is so much fun. I absolutely love the backward section. There's a great family roller coaster. So many parks, especially back in the UK, that could benefit from a ride like so this. So smooth as well. It really is. Like, it's a fantastic ride. In terms of parks, I think that fit with something like this. Portland's Park, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, we'll maybe even Alton really Towers. Well. Yeah, it was a fantastic ride. It really is. And I like the backward section on there as well. Uh, it's just overall a good, fun family roller coaster. It's well themed as well. It's well operated. It's just a great family ride, I isn't really it? Enjoyed it. Absolutely awesome. Right, you ready for a Woody, Charlotte? I'm ready. Hey, sun shining, lovely weather as well here today. It feels like spring, doesn't it? Yeah, quite it's warm. Nice and warm today, which yeah. is great. Almost, it'll take my coat off today. Yeah, it is quite warm. I'm debating it. <laughs> you got Voldecare just down here as well. It's a really nice classic coaster. And I bet Charlotte won't know this fact, so I'll share it with you all. Do you know what ride this is identical to back home in the UK? A childhood favourite of yours in Cornwall. Oh, the uh, oh, Hornets. Hornet. Yeah, there you go. Hornet coaster. Yeah, fun little fact for you. Quite a lot of flats here at this park as well, including one of the best themed Zamperla discos. It's got a fire effect down here. Love this part of the park down here with the water and Goodrick just over there. You've actually got the bar. I went up there last year. It's great because it's free to go up. But the drinks are quite expensive, even like a soft drink or a bottle of water. Um, yeah, you buy your drinks at the bottom, then you take them up, and it lifts you up there for a view. What are you looking at? Oh, God, there's loads in there. There you go. Right, are you ready for this then, Charlotte? I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Tonnerre de Zeus, let's go and give it a ride. So this originally opened in 1997, Custom Coasters International, CCI wooden coaster. I used to adore this ride so much. They closed it, they did some retrap work, they replaced the trains, some reprofiling, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, in my opinion, it rides nowhere near as good as it did before, which I was really sad about last year, actually. Hopefully it rides a bit better today. Maybe I caught it on an off day. I felt the Timberline of trains to be really rattly, shaky. I wasn't too keen on the new profiling either. Um, you could tell the sections that hadn't been retracked from the ones that have. So yeah, let's go and see what it's like. It's also got a backward seat on here as well. It's got a nice station area. The backward seat wasn't upcharged last year, but it seems like it's free now. Everybody's just kind of walking onto it by the uh, from people we spoke to today. Well, yeah, it's a very impressive ride to look at. Let's go and see how it's riding today. There's a look at the lift hill, and oh, I used to love this ride so much, I really did. It makes me a bit sad, but I'm still looking forward to getting on. I'm not a massive fan of the Timberliner train, but I don't mind the restraint when they crush your belly and They're stuff. not amazing, are they? are they? No, not the best these, but yeah, we're down here on the front row. So looking forward to taking you all on for a POV, let's go and ride. crazy about this we're talking about crazy baggage policies bags on ride here i am on the front of this with a bag like crazy you're not allowed to leave them on the station so you're going to grasp onto your bag as it being shake rattle and rolled on this
But yeah, the layout is great for this ride. It's such a shame how it rides now. There's even a bit of track down there with the old train on. You can just see it. There it is. Oh, I miss those days. And yeah, part of the ride that you no longer go around. They change some banking on this and all sorts. And there's the hotel just over there. So make sure you check out that vlog coming up. This is it. Are you ready, Charlotte? Ready for the bone shaker. That's what they should have renamed this one. Let's go! It's on air, do you think? Oh, you would not think it had been retried. Oh. There you go. What do you think to that, Charlotte? Bag of bones. Yeah. It's, I wouldn't say it's like ridiculously rough. No, it's, it's not. Rattling. It's rattling. It's very shaky. Yeah, very shaky. It's these Timberliner trades. I'm sorry, Gravity Group. This one wasn't the best work. Well, we just come off the front row there of Ton Air de Zeus. And yeah, with that ride, the layout itself is good. However, what they've done with that, it's such a shame. It was such a brilliant ride before. It was a world-class Woody, and now it's turned into like a once-a-ride trip for me. Thanks where some sections was riding okay and then other sections you was like this it was like you've got a bag of bones and you was just shaking <laughs> like a skeleton yeah. Like, yeah, around. but yeah like you can tell the trains just don't like that it's track on there it's not good how much you bounce you feel some forward. big jolts on there yeah, as well do, and some juddering I wouldn't say it's rough it's not like you know kind of grand it's national not, level it's of rough it's not rough it's just really uncomfortable yeah. the movement it's just not an enjoyable ride and that's the thing Gravity Group do make some good ground up rides um, not too far away at Park St Paul Wood Express is a brilliant ground up gravity group and same with Leviathan that we did at SeaWorld in Australia back in January that's a much better ride than this now you can see why I hate the backwards on this as oh, well like, you don't, do the, backwards no. the backwards is what well, yeah it's not a great experience at all but uh, yeah it's a shame it used to be a world-class woody in my opinion it's not anymore let me know your thoughts if you've been on it uh, but yeah there's some you know some changes on there like the bova banks and stuff but it's just not it just doesn't work for me that I miss the old trains well. and the old layouts it's not even nostalgia it's the ride of that like, it's, it's such a shame. It's just uncomfortable with the big, oh, oh, bulky restraints yeah. and stuff. Like, you know, it probably wraps around yeah, your body, doesn't it? It wraps tight. around your waist. Not a fan of the Timberliners, and yeah, what they've done with that, it, it's not great at all. It's really rough. And I said this last year, and I'll say it again. I think within the next five years or so, that's going to need some major retracking yeah, work. Yeah, the trains keep going round. If it's going like that all the time, it's going to like, it, it's going to need something doing to it. Yeah, the, the only thing what's positive about the change is that tunnel with the smoke effect. Yeah, that's that really, really nice. Good, actually. And the sound effect, of course, like lightning and thunder going off but yeah it's, it's a shame you know it's probably riding just the same as it was for me oh, last year no. yeah gutted I thought I might have caused it on an off day but yeah sadly I don't think I did so we're actually just outside the park now we nip back to the hotel and like I say you'll be able to check out that vlog here on theme park worldwide showing you the accommodation and here you get some great views here looking out over ton air de Zeus here it comes Views of this coaster operating that I've never shared before on this channel because I've never stayed at the hotel. Yeah, some great shots. From here you also see the old trains just there and the old section of track as well. Oh, I miss that so much. But it's still a good ride. It's not a poor wooden coaster, it is still good. But it was just a lot better how it was before. But yeah, I do miss that old track just there. You just don't really get airtime in the same places anymore and it's finding a bit lackluster, I'll be honest. Let's head back inside the park. Well, it's been an iconic part of the Park Asterix Skyline since 1989. Wacoma Looping Coaster is a controversial one. People love it or loathe it. I actually quite like it. I think it's a good ride. It's classic. It's an icon. 
here on the skyline. It's not the most comfortable. However, I do think it looks the part off ride like this big mess of track obviously you've got to think back in you know 1989 this would have been a big deal and it made park asterisk the park that it is today we are looking at it just over here with the blue sky this came long before the likes of the smiler for example at alton towers yes that's big one big jumbo and mess of track um, it looks really impressive and then yeah look at this one back in the day it was kind of like an early version of the smiler in many ways even though it was done of course by the coma but yeah it also shows how far the coma have come over the years with their various different rides and models. Let's go and give it a go. Our carriage awaits. Time for Goodrick, seven inversions, a pleasure. <laughs> you ready? No. <laughs> and guess what, is it bags on? Oh no. That's a lovely little lounge fly. I got this. He's got to come on, Charlotte. Shot. There we go. Bags on ride, let's ride. Goodricks, Park Asterix, April 2023. And we've got a dispatch. Can you imagine going to Alton Towers, going on the Smiler with a bag? Like, you just wouldn't, would you? But I know we're only doing half the inversions here, but still, got my bag just there. <laughs> it means you can't really put your hands up because you've got to look after your bag. Or leave it with a non rider, okay, I suppose. Nice view coming up on what we're about to endure. The great thing about this is that you do actually have padded headrests on this ride as well. Many people would say it needs it. It's fierce, it's intense. Great views looking out. Zeus looks the part, doesn't it? Charlotte. <laughs> I really don't find it too bad. It's fierce, it's intense, old school Bacoma. I tell you what, with the yellow track, it really reminds me of the corkscrew at Alton Towers right at the end there, when you actually go through the double corkscrew as well. Oh, blimey. That was good. I enjoyed that. Well, we just had our ride there on Goodricks. Look at the entrance to it as well with the track just going over. People love it, queuing out the front just here. I tell you what though, I am really pleased that you went on and gave it a go. Out the entrance, I wouldn't, I didn't enjoy that. I before. remember that you didn't like it last time it's a lot. It's so uncomfortable, it's so intense. But the, the headrest at the back does help a little bit. Exactly, but you see, you're coming round to the idea now. Like coming round to the idea. So uncomfortable. I like it, personally. I'm to take my bag off. And that is funny, like. Can you imagine that, like back home? I can understand on something like Grand National back home, like where you take your bag on, but. Yeah. <laughs> Goodrix, iconic. Well, we spent some more time enjoying the new Festival to Tartis themed area. And you know what? That coaster just keeps on getting better throughout the day. Throughout the day, that ride is so much better than this morning. I've really enjoyed it. Typical Intamin fashion, that is, to get better throughout the day. We've said it with them all, but. Yeah, especially the Blitz characters, amazing. But uh, yeah, we've got about an hour or so left of the day. We're gonna have a ride on the log flume now, the Menier Express. Unbelievable. Some great water rides here. We're not gonna have time to get them all in today, <laughs> but we'll go on this. I really like this one. I can't remember. Yeah, it's a good ride. Airtime Hill. Sun's starting to go down here at Park Asterix in France. And we're on the log flume just here. Oh, look at that. Can you remember much about the inside of this then or not, Charlotte? I'm sure you have. I think we came on it when we were here. It's a good ride. I do like how the trough is themed all the way around as well. Nice clean water. <laughs> it is. That's a good thing with the water rides here. 
the water's really filtered. Like I say, we've not been around the whole park and covered everything. We've done the main roller coasters and some other bits, but yeah, we're not covered everything. There's a lot of smaller flats, some great shows. It's been a big focus today on getting the main things in. And of course, plenty of rides on Titatis. But yeah, look at the stall from up here. That looks great. Probably the best stall I've done on a coaster as well. We've both had to sit in the front here, so we might get wet, Charlotte. Oh. I'm warning you now, we'll see what happens. Not on this bit, but as we go around, it's quite a fast mover, actually. Whee. Great views of his iris. Oh, this. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you got the little Zero coaster just down here as well. Little junior coaster. And yeah, quite a big construction site by his iris. Looks like something new is going to be coming in there, possibly for next year. As you can see, quite a large construction zone all down here. So yeah, we'll see what happens in the Egypt themed area. It is quick. Yeah, look at all this space down here. I mean, could this be like a little little family character or something going to run around here or flat rides or more buildings? We took the shop out, I think, that was down here next to Osiris. Yeah, we'll see. It's quick, isn't it? Watch yourself. Oh, that was nearly all in, that was. That was so close. It is. If you like storm surge at Thorpe Park, you like that scenario or I think that's how you pronounce it. I always try my best for you. The big raft ride. I think we might try and get on that next actually. Just over there. It's good. You don't get wet, but it's just a good fun ride. Way swinger down there. That's the awesome stunt show. Off to the right. And this is it. If we're gonna get wet, I think it's gonna be now. Airtime L on the log flu. Oh! How are you, Charlotte? <laughs> that was good. Uh, actually, I'm not too bad. Oh God, what's going on? <laughs> I know. It's hard to say. It's like a wild river down here now. Here we go. We're going to come to Asterix and not do at least one water ride. That like off-roading adventure, isn't it? Oh, wild river rafting here at Asterix. <laughs> it's into like wild river rafting. This. Oh, whoa! <laughs> We couldn't come here and not go on this. The many express. Good long ride. Oh! Good long ride as well. We've also had the chance today to meet the designer of Zitatis, which was great. We couldn't really film it, but it was really good to meet him as well. So thank you for that. It was, yeah, it was really, really interesting. Dark ride scenes. This reminds me a little bit of the Gruffalo at Chessington with the fountains. I mean, they weren't on there the other week, but similar. Effects. Yeah, they've got some really good attractions here, a great mix. What I really want to see in the future is a dark ride, a major dark ride. They've got a madhouse here, a Mac madhouse, not of a coma, that's pretty good. Again, we're not going to have a chance for that today. But yeah, I've filmed many Asterix vlogs from here in the past. Up the lift, there we go. Clunkity clunk. Love that down there. Wild River rafting. Charlotte sounds like she's enjoying it behind. <laughs> Great view coming up into Tartus. You don't get to see it for long, but there it is. Wow. Beautiful. How nice is that? Whee! <laughs> Airtime hill, stall, sideways banking, zero G stall. Oh, so much going on. So many elements packed in. Bobsleigh. We don't get too wet, I don't think, on here, Charlotte. Nice and clean. It's the Manier Express. Let's go. Whoa, flying it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the light sprinkle. No, it's a bit more than the light sprinkle. <laughs> Good ride, nice theme trough around here as well. Fantastic, I enjoyed that. Well, there it is, the Menier Express and how was your ride, Charlotte? You're not going to believe this. What? I actually really enjoyed that. What? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, you what? I really enjoyed it. The log flume? It was a what? bit like white water rafting. I mean, I'm soaked, but it was really good fun. Yeah, you are uh, quite wet down there. I really enjoyed it. I think it. Charlotte's coming round to these water I rides. I go that far. And it's a good job because you know what we've got next week when we get back to the UK? Oh, <laughs> Valhalla. 
Finally. Oh no, I got the poncho ready for that one. <laughs> well, that's a great ride, and it's got an airtime hill on there as well. Really good fun. I really enjoyed it. Oh, it's great. But there, it's been a, a really busy day, very chaotic. But you know what? We've got some great rides in and made the most of it. Little teacups that isn't actually a teacup, just over here, sitting in the little pots. And there's a couple of nice like indoor walkthroughs down here. Like I said earlier, they used to have an amazing ghost train here that they unfortunately closed. They couldn't really get the parts for it, I don't think, anymore, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see a major dart ride here. I think that's where they want to be going next, in my opinion, because, you know, they've had a big thrill ride, and I think we need a family, major family dart ride at Park Asterix. That's what I'd love to see in the future. They've got a great war ride selection as well. Yeah, I've got a 4D cinema just down here. Car ride, there's a lot of attractions at this park. Lots to enjoy. And we're going on another water ride now, make the most of it. Of course, we're going to be ending our day with another ride on Tartus, which will actually be our fifth ride on there. We've done well. Yeah. This is nice down here. Yeah. And here you've got a couple of like, indoor areas down there. There's no rides in there, but you just kind of walk through and enjoy it all. But yeah, this is a little Oct Octanarium. I've never really known how to pronounce half the rides at this part, but I do try my best for you all, as always. That's one thing that always amazes me when we come abroad. You know, most of the staff will speak English and we don't speak any other languages. You know, it's a shame. I'd love to learn more. I really would. Let's go and have a ride. Up we go in our big ring distance. You don't remember this. You don't remember it? Uh, it's quite a good ride. Well, I like this. You get a foot massage as you're going up. At the end of the ride though, you want to keep your feet up a bit because yeah, it gets a bit wet in the bottom. It doesn't really come over the side, but it's more because you're in the water in the trough. Yeah, maybe so. You're bobbing about a bit there, Charlotte. Bobbing around. Oh, lovely foot massage. Look at all this thing in the all these pipes. Storm surge. It is literally storm surge, but better. better. Like, you know, it fits in better with the landscape as well, this one. Big lift hill all the way to the top. And yeah, you can see the ride if I spin around a bit more. It's awkward on this lift hill to spin around. There you go. There's a look. Where we're we going to be heading down momentarily. Lots of lighting, good soundtrack. Here we go. This is what I was on about. Bawadi's new ride is going to kind of be a bit yeah. a bit like one of these, but then it goes down into a big kind of spinning. Yeah. On Misadventure Falls. There we go. It gets quite fast and you get a good spin on it. Yeah? Uh, uh, uh. Well, we got five of us in here, so it might be quite good if we get these right. That's it. We're off. Whee! We never go on Storm Surge, do we, at Thor? Whoa! <laughs> hey! Woo! Having a good time? Whoa! I thought we were going over the edge then. Spin time! We're gonna get in! Oh! We're not spinning loads. Whoa! whoa. Bit of air time. <laughs> whoa! Hey! Oh, you're right, Charlotte. Hold on tight. Oh, you're getting it. You're going in. It's gonna be Charlotte. Oh, no! Here we go. Whoa! Watch out! Whoa! Oh, nothing. <laughs> there you go. This way you want to watch your feet. Whoa! Sometimes it comes in a bit down here. Actually, we're all right. That's the scary that was. Oh, good, good ride, right, that. It's an auctionarium. I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's a lot better than Storm Surge, I know that. Yeah, it's better themed as well, like all down here. At least you've got like the bricks and stuff instead of all the like the ugly kind of trough look and not finished off. Yeah, that was funny, that was, wasn't it? How was your ride there, Charlotte? Did you enjoy that? That was really good fun. I enjoyed it. But I was a bit scared at the end when all the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially because you were going straight towards I was, like, it. Panicking. Big splash going over. Right, up next then we're going on the rapids. What is all these water rides? Well, why not? We thought we may as well get on the rapids and then of course we'll have time for one more ride onto Tartus as well and make the most of that. Look at these water effects just yeah. over here. Be grateful that we're not going on the grand splash just over oh, here. Oh, you get soaked on that. Did you do that last time? I can't remember. I would not or not. Go on that. No, it's like a bit like Tuki Splash and no, Paul Ventura no, style, no, no, no. but you don't get quite as wet. But we're going to go and do the rapids round here now in the lovely sunshine. And round here in the Rome themed area, Rombus Rapidos just here. Is that how we say it? I really don't know. I try my best for you all. Sounded a bit more Spanish than anything, that. Let's go on. Oh, here we go. Are you ready? Oh, good rapids. They're all right. You don't really get that wet normally That's on here. All right, then. You get some fantastic views though. Pegas Express yeah, is from on here. Over, it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, like over the water. Look at the colour of this though. Much better than the water at Plopsaland anyway. Disgusting. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> oh, wow. 
maybe we do get wet. <laughs> Take back exactly what I said just there, viewers. On the Rapidos. <laughs> yeah, we've got rounded them quite a bit today. We've not got everything in, but we've you know got a big new ride, new area to discover. So it's one of them, isn't it? Like when you got a big new ride, you want to get yeah, everything in exactly. and make the most of that. Free rides. Whoa. Builds up a bit of speed. Very fast. Yeah, it is. Shop. Yeah, you got the magic carpet over there as well. I've got quite a few flats. I think maybe a big thrill flat would be good here, like an intervene gyro swing or something like that. Magic carpet, oh my god, look at these waves. What's up with you? Oh my god. Wave action. Whoa! Ah! Oh my god. I can't believe it. You don't normally get that wet. Look at that. <laughs> Go. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Here it comes. Hey, hey guys. Oh my god. I'm I'm so sorry Charlotte, it's a good job it's the end of the day, it's nice and warm. We've got big effects coming up now, you get soaked underneath there. Hey! Oh. <laughs> How any joke it goes off, you're safe. Well normally you are. Hey! <laughs> oh look at all this, isn't it? Whoa! Oh Charlotte! <laughs> oh. <laughs> What are your thoughts on the rapids? Absolutely disgusting. Look at these views of Pegasus. They're on here. Brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Oh, well, from what I remember, it always, always is when I go on it. Because you've come down, Charlotte, ah, it's, you know, it's a bit busier. So We've got a couple of big blaster effects, I think, down here, and that's, yeah. that's about it. Look at the colour of the water. It's lovely. I'll let it off the colour of the water. Yeah, they must die with something, but then it doesn't stain your clothes. I don't know. <laughs> Beautiful purified water. Oh, lovely, lovely stuff. That was just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a good laugh, that was. Good fun. Lovely ride down the rapids, really enjoyed that. Wet, they said. Look at this, I'm absolutely soaked. You are quite wet there. Normally over exaggerate with these water rides, but yeah, give it to you. Absolutely shocking. <laughs> nice clean water though. Well, yeah, it is, so I don't mind too much when the water's clean. Better than plops of lands water. Oh, no. What are you into this carousel and you've got the Asterix characters? I didn't realise you could go in that big man there. Yeah, it's really nice because he sways back and forwards. And yeah, that's the madhouse just over there, Caesar. Um, if you do want to come and do that, normally we'd take you on as much as we can, but well, we have done that, but obviously it's been a busy day today. We've had lots so going on. Today, yeah, it's been crazy, but we're going to make our way now back down to Festival Tutartis. Yes. And have another ride on there now, make the most of it. Why not? Sun's going down. I don't think it'll be a night ride, but I guess it depends on how big that queue is at the end of the day. It's quite possible. What 
a great last ride. That was brilliant. Well, we've just had an awesome final ride there onto Tartus, and I tell you what, it's just got better and better throughout the day, hasn't oh, it? That we had ride. Such a good atmosphere on our train. Everyone was cheering and just really enjoying it. Yeah, I thought we were just getting on right there at the end. I'll put a POV in this vlog as well. But if you do want to see our dedicated video showing lots of off-ride shots, more POVs, front row, back row, uh, first reactions, showing how it's got better and better throughout the day, then check out our dedicated vlog on the channel from Festival to Tartus and the new area at Park Asterix. Uh, I mentioned it in that vlog, and I'll just mention it again here. You know, it would be nice if when they open something new here, um, they can kind of work out the operation of getting people into the park the a bit better control. next Maybe time. Walk yeah, walk people down instead of just letting people do a free for all. Definitely. But uh, you know what? We've had a really good time today. Yeah. We've got lots of rides in. We've not covered everything the park's got to offer in this vlog, um, but we've done quite a lot, which is really good. We've managed to get around. I've had a really good day. Yeah, it's been like a you know a 10 7 day, and we filmed two vlogs. It's like we've got lots really of rides. Quick. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. But if you liked going on the other rides here today yeah, again, I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, I think uh, Azaris was. Uh, absolutely oh, amazing that's today. Such a good coast. Yeah, I loved it. Our little triple whammy on the water rise, Pegasus. Tonair's still, you know, a good ride to go on. It's not it's what it like, once mm. was, but yeah, Leah, what's it like, Tom? <laughs> yeah, a bit, a bit rattly, but we just want to say thanks to the park Thank for having you. us down here. Um, it's been really good fun. And of course, check out the other two vlogs. We were staying at the hotel as well, so we've got that coming up. And uh, yeah, we've been here in the park enjoying it as well. And uh, just capturing the opening day atmosphere, really. It was very chaotic at first, but you know what? The days got better and better. Uh, and we really enjoyed our last rise there. Not quite a night ride like we would have loved however we'll be back in the future yeah i'm sure we will be it's a really easy part to get to this one you know so you can easily make your way out here and come and experience it but uh, there we go thank you very much for joining us here on theme park worldwide check out all the other vlogs so far from the trip and more coming up as well and that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding we'll see you all in the next vlog